welcome to my program, Ten Minutes with Riban. My name is Riban, and today we're going to be doing algebra part four. So why don't we start? Let's zoom past this. So this is test four. Question one: When p is fourteen, what is the value of p plus nine? Fourteen plus nine. We'll have to substitute p for fourteen. Fourteen plus nine is twenty-three. P take away seven. P. We have to substitute fourteen again. Substitute all the p's for fourteen. Fourteen take away seven is seven. Two times fourteen is twenty-eight. Forty-two divided by fourteen, yeah, is three. Question two: What what do you add to each number in these sequences to get to the next number? Four. Plus something nine plus plus and so on. Four to fourteen is ten. Half nine. No, half you'll get five. So every jump is five. Plus five. Seven to thirteen to nineteen. To twenty-five to thirty-one, seven to thirteen is six, and thirteen to nineteen is six two. So we better write, better write six plus six. Question three: X is five. What is two X plus three? Well, we need to. First, work out the two x. Two x will be ten because substitute x for five. Two times five is ten. Ten plus three is thirteen, so our answer is thirteen. Oh wait, let me just write. What is three x take away four? Again, x is five, so three. Times x, which is five, is fifteen. Take away four will be eleven. Wait, what? Oh, wait. <laughs> Question four: The numbers in the sequence increase by eight each time. Write down the next two numbers. Well, we're gonna type and not write it. So, write down the next. It adds eight, so thirty-nine, forty-seven, and wait. Forty-seven, yeah, fifty-five. Good. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. I had to explain three in here because it's blank. So maybe you have to do the explanation. Well, I'm gonna do that for you. So here. Two x. We'll substitute the x for five. So two times five is ten. Then ten plus three equals thirteen. Then what is three x take away four? 
I'll show you, just wait. No, not that, the answer. This one, yes. 3x will be 15, because we're still substituting x for 5. So, 15, take away 4 in the equation, will become 11. Question five. Paul ourselves no Paul ourselves fish. To calculate the price in pound sterling of a fish, she multi multiplies its weight by two and then adds three. Which of these expressions showed the price of a fish? Take your answer. W plus three times two. W plus 2 times 3, W times 2 plus 3, or W times 3 plus 2. W times 3 plus 2, not W plus 3 times 2. So we have to do weight, which is W. We need to multiply it by 2. So W times 2 and then add 3. W times 2, add 3. This one is correct. Let's tick it. Let's tick the box. Jack has made a sequence of numbers that increases by the same amount each time. Write the missing numbers. Well, 3 to 10, the distance is 7. So 10 plus something, no, 10 plus 7 is 17. Then we have, not this box, wait, then we have 24 plus 7, 31. Alternatively, you could do 38, take away 7, 31. Jack uses the same rule to make the sequence longer. What are the next two numbers in his sequence? Next to 38, add 7, yeah, then 45, then, oh wait, yeah, 52. Abby writes the numbers from Jack sequence in reverse order. What is a rule to get from one number to the next in Abby sequence? Let me just write the explanation down. Yeah, so if you're doing the reverse of his, this is adding and the reverse is taking away. So, Jack's Jack sequence is plus seven. Who's the other one? Abby. Is take away seven. That's the only way I can explain it. Jack's one is plus seven. So Abby's is a reverse. Take away seven. So, let's review our work. Test 4. Warm up. Question 1. P will be 14. Substitute all of question 1's P or 14. 14 plus 9, 23. 2 times 14, 28. 14 plus 14 take away 7 is 7. 42 divided by 14, 3. Question two, what do you add to each number in these sequences to get the next number? Four to nine, five. 
that means you plus 5. 7 to 13, plus 6. Question 3. x equals 5, so, so for all of question 3's x's, you substitute it for 5. 2. If a letter is next to a number, you times. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 equals 13. So, answer here, 13. Again, 3x, that means 15, take away 4, 11. Question 4. The numbers in the sequence increase by 8 each time. Write down the next two numbers. After 39 plus 8, 47. Yeah. Then plus another 8, 55. Question 5, Paula sells fish. To calculate the price in pounds of a fish, she multiplies it, its weight by 2 and then adds 3. That means weight times 2 plus 3. That's the expression. Question 6, Jack has made a sentence. A sequence, not a sentence, of numbers that increases by the same amount of each time, writing the missing numbers. We know three to three to ten. Yeah, the distance or difference is seven. So then ten plus seven is seventeen. Twenty-four plus seven is thirty-one. Yeah, thirty-one. Jack uses the same rule to make the sequence longer. What are the next two numbers in the sequence? From 38 plus 7, 45. Plus 7, 52. Abby writes the numbers from Jack's sequence in reverse. So that means instead of adding 7, he takes away. Look. Down there. 38, 24. So... That means he's taking away because he's going backwards. So Jack's sequence is plus 7. Abby's sequence, take away 7. Wait. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed today's test exam and at least learnt one thing from this. Learn for a minimum of 10 minutes, just 10. And I'll see you soon next week. Bye.